As the spike goes down, there is no spike response. Planted. Vice is just holding. It's a five versus five, so this isn't out of the question just yet for Cloud9. It's going to be difficult, but the utility and the weapons that they've got, it is still doable. Oh, oh, again, this is just going to be a fat crossfire for a lot of these players. Alexander on the front line is going to be able to get himself to. I don't know if it spotted him after Shinobi. He might actually have the surprise on them. They've called upon the Empress of Darkness. Shinobi lands a shot, but it's not a headshot. Sad to say, but now a 3v5. And I think we know where this is going. Alexander just trying to get aggressive and put a close oh, no. to this round. But it's actually gone the other way. Vice, you can't pick up that Vandal. He might just want to back away. And a 3 versus 4, it is winnable, but... Are they willing to risk what they've got already? Fiend still over towards long. Mitch just looking for a quick kill, but that's simply not going to happen. Vice picked up the Vandal again. Off of his opponent that ended up rushing in. And it gets dropped down immediately. Now they set themselves up prepared for what's to come. And again, there's one over towards short, but one just holding on sight in terms of that first contact. Whoa. But in comes Mitch. There goes a third. Now both players still stuck over towards short. Mitch fake defuse. That's at least the audio cue dragging out a couple of these players. The Hunter's Fury. It's so close. But even then, Rebo takes down Relics. Mitch just trying to find at least one of these players. Hunter's Fury barely connects. But now Mitch lining up at least this last player in terms of Rebo. But it's not going to happen. A couple of minutes ago, like 10 or so minutes ago, play on Arena and pop off. Right. And now he's on a Phoenix. Like, what's the change? I want to know. That's, hey, that's is, unfortunate, is but... Pick? Who knows? Here we go, Sully. We do have at least 35 seconds left into our round. And Mitch on the front lines with the Judge striking down both Rebo and Alexander. But now look at this. Cloud9, they have grouped up over towards Garage, just clamping down onto these players that think they're safe over towards mid, but they are done and they're dusted. Spike will end up going down. They just need to line up over towards Long ASAP. But even then, look at the traps here from Vice. More or less calculated for now, but Relics does at least take down Fiend with the Frenzy. I like the fact that Temperature could essentially just wait up in that corner and be just fine. But they know this. They practice this. That's amazing. Rebo, the last person remaining now in a one-on-one. -on -one. Mitch, again. He has been quite the architect for the team. Quite the sharpshooter. But now it's Rebo spraying on through. He's still going for it. But Mitch decides to... From Sean. Now in comes the four-on-four -four retake. Sean still has the Phantom in, in hand. Rebo, Alexander, all getting frags. Now it's just down to Relics. Relics no. gets one alongside Shinobi, but it's just Relics. Are you... Yet another pick. Mitch, all the way up front in Garage, has the knives out, ready and raring to go, but it could go trash again. No. Indeed, it does. Oh, no. Last person remaining over towards Garage is Vice. He does get himself one, but Fiend is watching the drop, and he makes it all so efficient. Shinobi, last one remaining, does peek out right through the smoke. Somehow gets himself two off of that, too. So now it's just Relics in 1v2. Out goes Temperature. He gets the first drop no! from Relics, but it's Alexander. They do at all individually, so might as well combine their efforts. And it was a good setup over towards mid. You had the double smokes that could have potentially stacked them up. But, uh, well, at least for now, it might be an easy peasy time for Tens. Gets himself to Woo! get yourself to, uh, Sully. But here comes an actual round. You have temperature in the back lines after Cloud9 oh. has such a quick take. Mitch spraying on through, and he's going to be able to get himself to. He is low on HP, but he's high on frags. Three more players remaining for the Moon Raccoon side and uh, their economy. It's pretty rough. They would need to save, but look at kind of the, uh, the kind of the gamble that they pulled off in this round extremely early on. Fiend has the knives out and Relics has the kill. Easy peasy stuff. Alexander, last person remaining now in a 1v. But we're vibing, ladies and gentlemen. We're watching a pretty good game of Valorant, so let's chill relax and watch some good frags because alexander he, he does picks up at least his first but relics Whoa. the good old double as two players walk right into his crosshairs and he capitalizes now there's only two players remaining for the team make that only one sean trying to make his way back towards the c sites and we have a big round in our hands 
Oh, I don't like this beast site, especially for Cloud9. You really struggle to hold this site down, and Shinobi, he moves away from the spike, and he gets caught out because of it. Temperature, he's got the site under control, but a Killjoy ult. This is going to buy so much time. 12 seconds off of the spike timer, and it's looking like a 12th round here, but Fiend from the back lines. They've got to get rid of this Killjoy ultimate. So much time bought here for the remaining two players, and Relics, pocket rocket showstoppers out, but stop, wait a minute. He's still alive now. Fiend comes out big. It's one more to go and one more to find. Vice has to do it alone. He takes one down, but has to find the second Revo through the wall. Brings it back, and it's 11 to 11. Moon Raccoon stay alive and keep Cloud9 off of map. But now, Rebo. Is he about to pull a Vice? Same thing that we saw in the first half where Rebo... He's just going to take on so much damage over towards Long, but he's actually going to go down to the nade. That is just simply unfortunate. And now Sean, the only player kind of laying around that C area, as now it's just totally populated by C9. So many players here. C9, they've clustered the site. They've boxed up. This is the main retake they love to set up, but they don't have that jet anymore. They normally post the jet on top of that second box, and they'll both hold CT. One of the mini box and one of the top box, but they no longer have that. It should still work out regardless. And they come, though. Here comes Moon Raccoons. A three versus four retake to keep themselves in this first map. Yes, it'll be match point for Cloud9, but they've got to battle hard here, Moon Raccoons, in the economy. It'll take a big hit, so I think they're thinking, let's just save. There's no point in going for this. We'll hold on to what we've got, especially that Operator. It'll be so key in this next round to try and keep them alive. But 12 to 11, Cloud9. They're on map point and map number one, but Sean is not leaving without taking a couple of bodies. He's taken two of them. Both heads popped off, but still, Cloud9 looks strong. Run into two players where Fiend is waiting for him. But Sully, what happened? What what happened to C? It's totally it's totally abandoned. Oh, there's nobody here. They have tripwires, but that's it. And even then, they're not really guarding too much, Gus. There's one in the middle of the bomb set, and God knows what that's going to do. It's not going to do anything. Quickly dismantle the tens. He's scanning the site. He's a hungry. You can see just how much he wants these frags. 4v5 and Cloud9. Well, they've got this bomb site. They've got to hold on to it. It's against five of the moon raccoons, and they're taking their time. They've got two ultimates to play with. Same thing here. Shinobi has on to one. Mitch holds for the operative. There's nothing being presented. Moon raccoons, they're nowhere to be seen. Flashes upon flashes. Earth ball from tens. It'll hold them back and even find the first. Second from Mitch. And they're locking it. They've gone all this way and that they're in the finals and they're dominating probably one of the best in North America. But in our game, let's get back to it. It will be the side of Moon Raccoons on the defense. And it does find ourselves Cloud9 on this A-bomb site. Yes, they've got the spike down, but there's so much chaos. So much chaos on the site. Somehow, someway, players are killing players from behind. And I don't know what is going on, but Relics is only able to get one in the 1v3. Quick first round here for the Moon Raccoons. And a stellar start to kick off map number two. You failed. Now it was honestly pretty sick for Moon Raccoons because you had the setup from Rebo. Oh. No, not just yet, but in goes Temperature once again. Over towards Cat, taking down Mitch. Immediately getting traded out. I don't... Again, just as a, as a pure duelist, taking down the Reyna, very much important. But you have to think about what is the ramifications going forward for this whole A take. Mid has been not very much an important spot for Moon Raccoons just yet, but Cloud9 hasn't even touched B yet, Sully. That's the thing. You are forcing most of your approaches over towards A. And now, although you ended up getting the trade, it is a little bit easier. But what was that from Tens? What was that from Tens? Alexander. He goes down in a flash. And now Rebo. Over towards Heaven. Still striking on back. Shinobi gets the spike down. Now in comes the retake. Last night got me going, man. That last night got me going, and Relics is still going. A showstopper delivered. But it's not going to get the kill. But instead, back them into their cross there, and Relics has one straight to his face. Fiend. Fiending to hopefully take this round, but unfortunately, cut him off from it. It will be a save. 3 to 2. Cloud 9 on the attack. Just trying a new comp. They're just trying new strategies. Really, just to see what really works out for their team. Of course, they're trying them out in scrims, but. Trying it out here in a third place decider game, which really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of a championship. It might work out in their favor. Sean, however, he is looking for that cash. Third place can get you a little bit of it, but Relics oh my God. is back at it. He's tapping heads. It's a three on two. 
Cloud9 might be trying new things, but one thing stays consistent, and that's Relic's ability to frag. Another double. He's had so many of those. He just goes over the boat house. He just goes over the control house. And Relic's, he's still standing, but in a one versus one, he's got to do it all. A 4K oh. from Relic's. The man above still stands. And he's out. And Blade Storm and everything. What's he going to whip up for us? Alexander. He's only good for one this time around. Aribu. Rebo is just holding that cross. There's not much they can really do here. I feel like Cloud9, they've got that opening kill, but what did they go with it? Tens. Ooh. He didn't see anything. Nothing presented to him. A double updrift, but nothing, right? He wastes those two utilities. And ultimately, they're going back the other way, Gus. You should run. Not just yet. They're chilling. And not only that, but they haven't gone back. They're actually going to commit. They were simply waiting for the lineup off the Killjoy ult. And now in we go. Tens. He wants to make his way in. He wants to make this risky. He gets the first one onto temperature. He's still near side and not anymore. Starting to go for Sean. And then instantly oh, no. onto Rebo. Tens, you absolute nutter. Fiend, the last one remaining in a 1v4. He has no chance. Tens. Well, you said it before, Sully. This is the tens that we've been waiting for. The individual fragging monster. And now he's going for another one just for the fans. Can he actually get it? And tens. Wiling out over towards the cat area, over towards mid. But in we go now. They're stuck on lower Util, and Shinobi at least gets himself one. Tens around the corner with a judge, trying to take down Sean, but it's simply not going to happen. Alexander strikes back onto Shinobi. One more player left on site, and it's Vice. And just like that, C9, they have the man advantage, but just like that, it's over. Alexander tries to get a pick onto Mitch, but that doesn't happen either. Now it's a two-on-two. Two. Spike goes down, and Mitch is still being a nuisance with the Spectre. Two-on-one. Nah, 2v1 and Relics just mops it up quick and clean. It was a full buy for Moon Raccoons as well, and it doesn't really bring anything to the table. Unfortunate to say the least, but and it's 8-6 to six now, and it's going to be a save here on the side of Moon Raccoons. That full buy has brought their economy into the... I, I take that as a saying, compliment, by like the way. Sub, Rich Brian is like sick. Sub it's weird. Like, so many, like, we're, we're, I feel like we're the most compared people on the cast list. People call you Bob Ross, I'm Rich Brian, and right. now people say I sound like Sabrosa. I don't know if that's a compliment. Is, is his voice nice? I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think anyone complains about your voice, so I, I that's guess that's true. fine. Sabrosa me. is a cool guy, too. Uh, Sabrosa so. sounds like me. What are you guys talking about? I don't know, but in goes Sean, actually, bursting on through the smoke. I mean, again, it was just a couple of pre-fires, and he just so happens to get his target down. Tens does catch at least one one player lurking around that B area, but most importantly, they have to take away this A site. Two players laying around. Relics is in the back lines. He was insane in half number one, but can he keep up that energy? He gets himself one. Tens is here to help. Relics gets a second. Looking for a third. Maybe a fourth as the headshot lined up and not going to be able to capitalize. Mitch, last one remaining now in a 1v1. Temperature is waiting. Temperature already has a 1v1. He already has a clutch done for him on this out, but He's making so much noise. He's making so much noise. He's rotating. Oh, no. He's going to uh, he's gonna TB after the end. Oh, oh, Mitch is right into it. Oh, my he's God. Right into it, Mitch is gone. Same with temperature. This is high IQ gameplay. Ten he's going to get left. the spike down already. And Mitch, he has to break through the door. He knows where he's going to be standing. But does he get aggressive? He does. Veer goes out. Oh. That doesn't affect him that ever. Temperature stays cool under pressure. Slowly making their way back into this game. But Tens looking to shut it down. Beautiful shot over towards mid, but that was quick, easy, and simple. But what also might be simple is this take over towards A for the Moon Raccoons. There's no one actually on site, but Cat is heavily populated. Oh, so much going on. Tens, he's picked up one. Can't get a second. Relics as well as out of the round, at least for now. He's quite ways away, and it's really all about this delay. Vice holding on to the site for now, but they have control of it here. Moon Raccoons. It's Dicey, it's Brawly, and Sean, he's looking to clear this angle out. I spotted one, and he's stuck by the glass. Bird can't see glass, and neither can the Owl drone. Sean, Recon Vault reveals where the opponent's going to be in. It's such low HP there. Nothing to stay on in here for Mitch. He's barely alive. He's barely breathing, but the Leo goes out, and he's looking to frag out. Temperature takes him down, though, and all things, and it's just down to Relics. A 1v3 to get them the double digits, but it doesn't look possible. It doesn't look realistic, and Relics, he will concede round number eight to Moon raccoon and there's some six hp it's just pistols and for that reason i feel like it might be over but never mind relics he's pulling back on the pain shell grenades we've got 40 seconds left in this round 
And Cloud9, they've got the man advantage so far. They definitely don't have the guns, but Mitch, Frenzy, it's devastating. A quick burst to the head, and it's over. It might just be over for one. It might just be over for a second. Relics on 6 HP has found a second left. kill in this round and found a second life for Cloud9. It could just be double digits. The spike, it's still in the backs of Alexander and up against pistols. That's recoverable. Temperature split apart, and Alex, he's picked up one already. They've got to find the second, though. Tens, he's on such low HP and on such low ground. 15 seconds. Spike's got to go down now. And Tens, he's trying to deny it. He's trying to keep him from getting it down. It's all about timing and jumping across this screen. It's Relics who finds the kill regardless. And Cloud no Raccoons to go back to limited economy to really having... You know, this this sort of trade-off moment. All right, what do I want? Do I want full armor and util? Do I want a full gun? Something of the sort. Now they're just going to at least just try to sweep up over towards main. This is a huge battle that ends up equalizing into a two-on-two. Alexander, still remaining in that position. He doesn't get exposed. Rebo, he was one of the only players for this team to actually have a pistol. And Mitch shuts them down immediately. Alexander now, 1v2. Throws out his only eye. Goes for the fake. Mitch waiting for it, but that only baits out Relics to get him. Players coming up Catwalk, storming up Catwalk, and Mitch lays out the floor plan, and down goes one vice. He's demolishing them. 3K sprays them all down, and you know what's next. Temperature is in a 1v4 now. He gets the first. One more player waiting to swing, and it's Mitch. And Mitch gets it. Wonderful. It's 12 to 8. Ten, so many legends. It feels like we're casting legends. Yeah, that's crazy. Anyway, back to the actual game. One round is all that separates, and a lockdown goes into place, Gus. There's a minute left, and the A site, it's no longer a viable option. They know that they've deterred them. They know they've sent them back towards the B site, but no, it's a fake. They're just waiting outside. They're going back in tens. This kill might call these rotations, and it does. It pulls one away. Shinobi, he was thinking about it, but now they realize it's a double fake. They've been duped in relics. He's got to hold it with the operator. He's been really good so far on this raid, but he's got to go big again. And they're double wrapping. They're going through a defender. Spawn and tens has got them with their oh, back man. turn. One goes down to the nines, another to the op. And you know the result. It's 13 to 8 for Cloud9. And they've sealed themselves the third place spot. And then 